Alicia and I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about what I call heat stretching. Um, basically it's when you use heat to stretch your hair, stretch your curls. Heat has definitely been a very important part of my journey and I'll talk a little bit more about that. I'm going to try not to hold this video out too long because I'm going to have a few videos coming up really giving more information on how I maintain my hair um, while using heat. Now disclaimer, I'm not encouraging others to use heat. You definitely have to do what works for your hair. This is something that I've had success with for over two and a half years and I feel has helped me to retain length but we all know the dangers of heat you have to do your research you have to know about your hair because everybody's hair works so different there's people who can use heat every day and their hair is all the way down to their toes um, and I know I am not one of those people <laughs> So um, if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about how I use heat in my regimen, then stay tuned. So basically, um, there are two different ways that I stretch my hair with heat. Blow dryer has been the number one way. Um, I use the tension method and I have a video up um, to show you how I do that. I use that most of my journey. Now in December, I started flat ironing my hair. It was the first time I ever flat ironed my hair. <laughs> Just kidding. And I actually combined using the blow dryer and then using the flat iron. Now during that time, I was going for a straighter look. Recently, I have been playing a little bit um, around with um, eliminating the blow dryer and doing a little bit more flat iron. Now I know you guys are freaking out but let me explain. The blow dryer to me it's a great tool and especially when you're using the tension method but for me it feels like my hair does get a little bit more dry when I use the blow dryer. But I use very low heat with my flat iron and I notice that my hair still maintains a lot of the moisture that I put into it so eliminating the blow dryer and just going straight to the flat iron seems the easiest way. Now when I flat iron my hair it still looks like I blew my hair out. It doesn't look like my results from December where I was going really straight um, because the heat that I'm using is so low all I'm basically doing is just stretching my hair out. So the flat iron that I am currently using, um, it goes all the way up to 375. Um, the settings are labeled 1 through 20 and I only use it at 10. So that's another key. That's telling you how much heat I am not using. I'm not going for straight hair and that's something that I always talk about that I think has been the key for me is not going for bone straight hair. I'm natural and I understand that no matter what I do unless I'm going to be burning my hair off, my hair is not going to be bone straight anymore. So <laughs> I've come up with some really creative ways to keep my curls stretched. Now the reason that I um, heat stretch my hair it's really more about um, convenience and preference it's just what I like to do for my hair it's just what I've always liked to do and it's what has always helped me to retain length when I first started using heat I was really scared like I just had this big fear because I was like a heavy blog reader and I was like oh my god my hair is gonna die but I really had nothing against heat so when I turned two years natural it was my first time blowing my hair out and I loved it and I noticed each time that I blew my hair out um, that my hair was easier to manage and I wasn't and I was able to retain more length so I always say if it's not broke don't fix it and it's just become a really important part of my hair regimen. At this point, I'm using heat every two weeks, um, and that's during wash day. Um, I'm very careful with my hair <laughs> when I'm using heat. I always clean my hair. I shampoo my hair, I condition, I deep condition, hot oil treatment, protein treatment. I do the works on my hair. And honestly, since I've stopped using the blow dryer and I'm using the flat iron, it's so much easier. So I let my hair dry overnight in like one braid, and then I flat iron. And it is so much easier. And again, like I said, I'm not going for bone straight hair. It gives me that blown out look that I really love and my hair lasts for two weeks. And I also notice my hair lasts a lot longer when I flat iron it 
as opposed to blow drying it. It seems like when I blow dry, I go out and the humidity will kill my hair. But when I flat iron it, because I'm able to keep a lot more moisture in, I notice that my hair lasts a lot longer. So again, the key is just trying to get my hair stretched. Because when my hair is stretched, I can minimize the knots and tangles. And again, it helps me to retain length. It makes it easier to manage my hair. Now, there are many other ways to stretch your hair this is just the method that i've used that has worked for me you guys know um a great way to stretch your hair is just pulling all, after you wash your hair when it's soaking wet take your hair put it back into one ponytail just lay everything flat put it in one ponytail braid it down and sleep like that overnight and you'll get some pretty stretched hair actually you'll get almost a blown out effect um twist outs braid outs there are so many different ways to do a roller sets um wrapping your hair so there are definitely a lot of no heat methods to stretch your hair make sure you share with me down below how you stretch your natural hair and also if you use heat and how that experience has been for you thank you guys so much for watching and i have more videos about my experience with heat and also some demos to show you how i stretch my hair coming up really really soon subscribe like this video give me a thumbs up oh, yeah and make sure that you follow me on Keek. I just joined Keek and I do daily video updates on what's going on with my hair. So if you like to see how my styles last throughout the week, you definitely want to follow me on Keek. I'll put the link down below. All right guys, that's it. Bye.